This is an echoless room. It's called an anechoic chamber. It's been designed to absorb all sound waves. There are so few places where you can experience no echo. It feels weird. When you hear a sound, you may not realize it, but you don't actually hear it only once. In fact, you hear it many times because sound waves bounce off solid objects. Shout at the top of your voice when surrounded by mountains and you'll hear it come back to you. Back, back to, you. to you. Back, back to, you. to you. Sing in a cathedral and reverberation will lift your voice up to the rafters. Echoes are all around us all the time. But what if you took those echoes away? Everyone, this is Elias Arias. He's an audio video project leader here at Consumer Reports. Hi, Elias. Hi, Jack. Welcome to the room. Thank you. This has to be the quietest, most silent room here in the building. So quiet, you could almost hear your heartbeat. Anechoic means without echo. These walls and ceiling and floor are all built with fiberglass wedges that trap sound. And so that means that when sound, which moves really fast, about 767 miles per hour, will move out into the wedges and bounce between the wedges, go in and not come back out. The type of information that you get from a room like this when you're testing, how do you use that and how does that translate to a consumer? Echoes interfere with measurements when you want to find out the true sound of a product. In some cases, like let's say noise canceling headphones, we're able to hear how quietly it's able to attenuate large amounts of noise and then be able to qualify which ones do it best. How do people experience an anechoic chamber? Very varied. Some get really happy and very zen and they never want to leave uh -huh. and other people run out crying. don't usually do this, but I've invited a few friends to show off this room, and I hope you like it. Meet the Port Richmond High School Marching Band from Staten Island, New York. Go Raiders! Who better to put the anechoic chamber and its mysterious properties to the test than a group of musicians who are used to things being loud? So weird. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> You've probably heard you yourself play drums in a particular way. Now, you're going to hear it in a whole different way. All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. The drum isn't as loud in here as it is, like like out in the hallway, for example. Here, the clarinet's kind of like more than I could hear like in the band room, so it's kind of really different hearing myself. Without any interference from the surroundings, they're actually hearing the pure, true sound of the instrument. That's why this room is so great. How did that sound to you? It sounded... Nice. I could, hear, I could hear the detail for once. Wow! Oh, that's a great word because that's exactly it. You're getting the pure sound of your sousaphone. Right. We could even hear not only your breathing, the articulation of your fingers on the pads and the vibration of your instrument. <laughs> it's already weird. <laughs> okay, so you want to do a little experiment? Sure. Okay. All, right. All right. One, two, three. That That's weird. so weird. I can't even focus. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially in marching band, when you're like playing as loud as possible, you're echoing. You're hearing everyone around you echo. So just hear like the single sound. It's, it's a little off. <laughs> Joe. Let's really take it up a notch, okay? Let's get the loudest cymbal sound that you can possibly do and see how that goes. Ready? Oh, that's different. <laughs> it 
it's still going. <laughs> Will it ever stop? <laughs> it's just so quiet in here that you can actually hear it continue to decay beyond what you could possibly hear outside. So how do you like your symbols now? The symbols are actually cool now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Since you were born, you were inundated with sound. Whether you were screaming and crying and hear all the noises of the world have surrounded you. And here, all those noises have been stripped away. And so that pressure on your ears has been relieved. Completely like a weight is lifted from your ears and folks can have a different experience based on that lack of pressure. Guys, that was great. So much fun. Hey, Jack, you ever been part of a marching band? No, but I always wanted to be. One, two, one, two, three, four. All right, everybody, let's go make.